You, like me, probably grew up playing with Lego and watching the Spider-Man films. Now, whether it was the Tobey Maguire films or the latest Spider-Verse films, it doesn't matter. Spider-Man will always be my favorite superhero. So in this video, I'm going to build one model for every Spider-Man that we've seen on screen. And as for a base, I'm going to do something we don't normally do in these videos. I'm going to make all these bases the same size. We'll be making these bases 16 by 16 thick boarded bases, as I want all these models to be little nice desk pieces, with a fun little feature that I'll show you at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, there's no better film to start off with other than Spider-Man. Man 2. And can I just say, what a film. Doc Ock was an absolutely fantastic villain, and even though I think Spider-Man 1 was an amazing masterpiece of a film, I think I'll save that one for another video. For now, let's focus on the iconic ending of Spider-Man 2. Specifically the scene where the reactor is about to overload and suck everything into it. Now, as we don't have a lot of space to work with with this model, it's pretty much all going to be a reactor. The reactor sits on top of a metal platform that Doc Ock actually crushes to drown this machine in the river, but we'll actually need to build this platform, along with references to the building around it. To do that, I'm going to a bunch of special grey tiles, along with some grills to make it look like this machine has been built from the ground up. But before we add this base to our main base, I need to fill this with water. Taking a look back at the film, Doc Ock made this machine with four main pillars with lights all over the inside of them. So to build them up, I'm going to use a lot of plates and ball joints to get the shape just right. And for all those lights going at the center of the pillar, I'm going to use these pieces, as well as a bunch of one by one orange round pieces to represent the lights going up the main structure. Now all we need to do is place the tritium in the center and activate our model and add our minifigures. I'm using this fantastic custom Doc Ock figure from Firestar Toys, a custom purist Mary Jane figure made using the Harry Potter CMF series, and as for Spider-Man, I'm using this figure from 19 years ago, as it's the only version of this suit that we have until the new No Way Home set is released. And I hope you guys are just as excited for that set as I am, as I'll be giving away two of these brand new No Way Home sets over on a special Marvel-based Whatnot livestream on Friday, August 4th at 7 p.m. BST. As well as that, I'll be giving away some of the best MCU sets, such as the Infinity Gauntlet, the best looking Hulkbuster so far, and sets that have some great figures, like this Spider Man vs. Vulture set. As well as that, I'll be auctioning all of these Marvel figures, including a full set of Marvel Series 1 CMFs, a full set of Daily Bugle figures, and a bunch of other really desirable Marvel figures, such as Iron Man's from 10 years ago, Guardians of the Galaxy, and much more that you'll want in your collection. Remember to go and bookmark my stream on the Whatnot app, and if you're not already using the Whatnot app, make sure use my link in the description to get £10 slash $10 to use on my stream or anybody else's stream. All the giveaways are international, so there's no reason not to show up on Friday, August 4th at 7pm BST. Come and check out some of the minifigures we've got and potentially win some giveaways. A special thanks to Whatnot for sponsoring this video, let's get back to making some awesome Spider-Man sets. And speaking of that No Way Home set, it's finally giving us a fantastic accessible way of getting an Andrew Garfield figure. And although these Spider-Man films got a very mixed reaction, I think it has some of the most iconic Spider-Man visuals that we've seen on screen. And one of the most memorable is definitely Gwen's death. And as our base is already built, we can get straight into building the details. This scene takes place in a building that looks very much like a clock tower in the middle of like a power station type thing. And although this room is a rectangle, I'm going to try and give it a bit more shape using these masonry bricks. As well as this, I'm going to add in these grey hinges just to change up the wall shape and stop it looking so flat. And with this wall on the floor done, we can combine the two. Watching this scene over and over again, there's some details in the background that we can't forget about when building our model. In the back here, there seems to be some random shelves with what seems like paint on them, as well as a desk with a little lamp on it. And speaking of detail, this is quite a dynamic scene. It's all set in slow motion, and I want our model to feel like it's in that slow motion. So I'm going to add some details falling with these clear rods, like these dark tan 1x2 tiles to act as bricks, and these large Technic gears to act as cogs, as if they've fallen from the clock mechanism above. And with our model mostly complete, the only thing left to do is add our minifigures. But as that Andrew Garfield figure that is coming out in that Spider-Man No Way Home set that we're giving away isn't out for a few more days, I'm going to be using a super special figure from the guys over at Jackabrick on Instagram. And although this Spider-Man is a bit more detailed than the official ones, it's one of the best looking versions of the figure around and you guys should totally check them out. I'll leave a link next to my Whatnot stream. As well as that, they've never made an official Gwen figure, so again, I'm using this custom by Jim Customs. The detail on this figure is absolutely fantastic and I can't believe LEGO haven't gone back and made more sets based on this film. I know they wouldn't be as good as this, but I really want more Amazing Spider-Man sets, especially as we now have two figures from Amazing Spider-Man 2. But enough complaining, let's move on to one of the most cool and unique Spider-Man movies around, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now I know the new movie Across the Spider-Verse has just come out, but I haven't had the opportunity to see it, so I'm going to base this model on the first film. And one of the coolest shots in this film is when Miles Morales becomes Spider-Man. 
leaping off of this skyscraper, smashing the glass and falling into New York City. Like the other two, our base is already done, but with this one I want to build a little micro city. And as I really want our minifigure to stand out, I'm going to make the whole city grayscale, with only selective coloured bricks meant to look like neon signs in our little model. I'm going to save you a lot of the time that I spent on doing a lot of these buildings, as they're mainly the same building over and over again. But the main structure, in case you wanted to do something like this yourself, is a lot of these pieces, and a lot of tiles. And to just add little details, I used these two L bars just shoved in the top of the studs, to act as spires on the top of the buildings. And with a lot of these buildings now finished, I can add them to my base. But in the centre here, I'm going to build up a special building with studs on the side of the model, mainly so we can attach this big, clear 12L rod. And on that clear rod, I'm going to use this Mars Morales minifigure, as it's just the closest one I own. There are customs out there, but unfortunately I don't own any just yet. And with that, our model is finished. Spider-Man No Way Home. I think it was obvious that I was going to make something from this film. It's one of the most iconic Spider-Man films to ever exist, considering it had all three in it. And I know people want me to make one specific model, but trust me, that'll be very soon. Before we can have the battle of the multiverse, we first need to open the multiverse. And again, our base is already decided, so I'm going to start with the floor, or lack thereof floor. As this scene breaks down the fabric of reality, I'm going to make only a tiny bit of floor on each corner of the model. And as for the middle, I'm gonna be using these trans pink and purple pieces to represent all of the multi-dimensional space we see in the film. You can see I've left some studs on each corner of the model, and that's because looking at the film you can see there's massive pillars all around the Undercroft, probably supporting the Sanctum Sanctorum above. And to build those I'm going to use the same techniques we used for our Mars Morales model, and use these pieces. Notice how each of the pillars are built slightly differently, all at different cracks and height. The two front ones being slightly smaller so we can see our model a little bit better, and that allows the back ones to be a bit taller where they can fall a little bit more into the background. But speaking of our overall model, we can't really have the scene without Peter Parker and Doctor Strange. But obviously we need a floor for these guys to stand on, and I'm going to build up a floor using grey plates and tiles. But as I don't really want to cover up all the stuff that we've done, I'm going to raise this floor off of the ground as if they're floating in midair. Pair this alongside the enchantment table that Doctor Strange uses to create the spell in the first place, and I think this will really complete the model. But onto our minifix. And as Peter Parker is in his casual clothing, I'm actually going to use the Mary Jane figure from the official set, swap out the head for one of the CMF ones. And as for Doctor Strange, I'm going to use another one of Jackabrick's amazing custom figures. That little bit of extra printing and this custom moulded Eye of Agamotto, this really is one of the best looking LEGO custom figures around. The original Doctor Strange is pretty damn good, but this just takes it to a brand new level. And with those final figures on the model, and attaching all of our models together, we get a pretty damn good rendition of all of the Spider-Man films. But wait a minute, there are so many spider people that we haven't seen yet in this video. You'll have to let me know if you want some more Spider-Man models based on, say, Spider-Gwen or PS5 Spider-Man. But you never know, you may see PS5 Spider-Man over on my iconic video game series, which if you haven't seen already, you should totally watch next. I guess I'll see you over there.